I'm delighted to announce that David Gillespie is joining us this evening. David comes from a company called Speechworks, which specialises in presentation skills. You may well have seen David. He's been on television in Red Dwarf, Bremner Burn of Fortune, and tonight he joins us straight from the set of Holby City. So if you want your presentations to be fresh, spontaneous, and memorable, please pay attention. And I will certainly be looking for some tips from David afterwards. Thank you. I hope you enjoy tonight. Thanks, Jeff. Well, thanks, Helen. Thank you very much, Helen, for that lovely introduction. Yes, I am David Gillespie. I'm an actor. And I have come straight from Holby City today. But, uh, I want to ask you a couple of questions before we start. This isn't going to be audience participation, by the way, so you can relax, take the feet off your legs. I'm going to do the work tonight, okay? But I do need to know how many of you have to stand up and speak in public as part of your job. Show of hands. Wow. Well, that's practically everybody, I think. And how many of you are perfectly happy with that? Totally confident, no anxiety, can't wait to get up there and do it. Hmm. Well, it's funny, isn't it? It's a very daunting prospect. A recent survey tells us that most people fear public speaking more than death. <laughs> so if you're at a funeral, you're better off in the coffin than giving the eulogy. Tonight, I want to look at three major components that this man seems to have a very good handle on. Storytelling, status, and focus. Since we were living in caves, whacking each other over the head with wooden clubs, we were telling stories. The one that got away, the woolen mammoth that got away that big. My escape from the jaws of the saber-toothed tiger. And then we illustrated it on the walls, didn't we? That's me with the spear. Early PowerPoint. <laughs> now, come on, who does PowerPoint? Own up. We start telling stories from a very, very early age. I don't know, two, three years old, perhaps. Because our parents tell us stories, and our brothers and sisters tell us stories, and we tell our friends the stories our parents and our brothers and sisters told us. How many of you have children? Right. And how many of you read to your children or read to your children when they were younger? Yep. And when you did that, I bet you did all sorts of things with your voices that you would never do for an adult audience, didn't you? Once upon a time, there was a wicked witch. <laughs> I'm not suggesting you go to the next board meeting and cackle like an idiot. <laughs> no. All right, let's press on. Status. Does Bill Clinton adopt the right level of status to be the most effective communicator that he can possibly be? What is status? Well, if we look it up in the dictionary, it will say status, Latin, posture. So straight away, that says something physical to us, doesn't it? But we know it's more than that. It's physical, yes. It's mental, it's verbal, it, it, it's emotional. It's a, it's a stance, an attitude, a demeanour, a manner. It's how we perceive people. It's how people perceive us. When we meet someone for the first time, we ask ourselves three questions. Subconsciously, we can't help it. One, what sex is that person? Two, how old are they? And three, what's their status? What's their status compared to mine? Is it higher, lower, somewhere in the middle? How do I play this person? Let's take a look at the three circles of concentration. I'd like to explain these in filmic terms, if I may. So just imagine that you are directing a film. There you are in your wooden canvas chair. You've got your name on the back. You're there looking like Cecil B. DeMille. Your third circle of concentration is your all-encompassing master shot. The safety shot, the one we've got the whole film in. We're safe now, we've got it. Now we can make it more interesting. We can cut in and out of it, do all sorts of things. The master shot. The second circle of concentration is the intimate two shot, you and me now. 
And the first circle of concentration is the single close-up. What on earth is he talking about, I hear you say? <laughs> Let's go back. That, ladies and gentlemen, in a nutshell, is the Clinton factor. 